Hey everyone, it's Wendy. I am making a spaghetti squash casserole tonight and I love this recipe. I only make it this time of year when the, I can get the squash from the farmer's market. You can use a butternut squash instead of a spaghetti squash and it comes out really good that way too. So I have one large onion and I don't know, eight to 10 ounces of baby bella mushrooms chopped, you know, cut like in big cubes in the food processor attachment for the Flex Plus. So we are going to chop these up. So I just put the lid on here. I'm going to add the power handle and put my battery on. It's a good thing it has this little indicator for the battery because my other battery is almost dead, so it comes with two. So if that ever happens, you just swap them out, charge the one that's low. All right, so let's, let's chop up our vegetables here. so quick and easy. This all goes in the dishwasher, by the way. The blade goes in the dishwasher, the six cup container, and this piece just pops off. So the lid doesn't need to be cleaned. This just gets washed in the sink and you're good to go for next time. So, oh, and the food pusher too. So if you need the food pusher. It does come with the grating attachments as well. So let's put this, my skillet's already preheated, so why don't you come over here and I'm going to add my vegetables to the skillet. Let's take the blade out. All right, and this should cook up really fast because this skillet's nice and hot. And you can see how fine I chopped everything. This recipe, you want to chop up the vegetables really fine. And that way they get nice and mixed in. Um, this casserole is kind of like a souffle when it's done. All right, and this does take a few minutes. There's quite a bit of water in the mushrooms. You want them to start to caramelize turn brown. Just a little bit more. Yeah. All right. So we're going to let that sit for a few minutes. When you're browning and caramelizing vegetables, they need to actually sit. You don't want to over stir your pot. So while that's going, we are going to finish up the rest of our vegetables over here. So I don't usually make spaghetti squash. So here I am, oh, by the way, I took the whole squash, I just cut the top off. Having no upper body strength, I could not cut the squash in half to put on a baking sheet to roast it. So I took the whole squash, one cup of water, put it in my quick cooker, and I um, set it for steam for 15 minutes, and it came out perfect. So. Just a little trick there, you don't have to work so hard. Hi Joe, good to see you. All right, and then I use my scoop loop to take the seeds out and I realize that this is really awesome for getting the squash itself out of the shell also, all the way down to the shell. So I'll just show you real quick. Um, for, the, for the inside part to get the seeds, I use the smaller side and I'm using the bigger side now and I did most of it before I jumped on because you don't really need to watch this part, but not very exciting to do this. All right, and you can see this is well, pretty much, there we go. Perfect, right? No squash left, no waste. So. And this was, this is all of the squash from just that one. So 
lots here to go in my skillet. Okay, next thing, like I said before, it's kind of like a souffle. I have three eggs, half a teaspoon of pepper and half a teaspoon of seasoning salt. Just using my little mini whipper here to mix that up. And I am going to add, the recipe calls for garlic powder. I don't usually use that. I usually use fresh garlic, but you could do the garlic powder too. That's totally fine. I am going to do two cloves of fresh garlic and just use my um, garlic press. All right, so, and I'm gonna mix it in with the eggs because I don't want the garlic to get stuck in the squash. And then you end up with one spot that's really strong and then there's no garlic in the rest of it. So you guys can probably hear my pan sizzling away on the stove. Okay, that's my second clove of garlic and you can see, I'm just gonna flip the peel. I have a little bit more here, we'll put that in. Definitely don't wanna waste it. And we we'll use a little whipper again. All right, so, and we're going to add one cup of tomato sauce and that goes in with the squash. So when this is done, it doesn't even taste like squash. It actually tastes like a cheesy type of casserole. And this is a complete meal all by itself. Um, my scraper's in the pan. So let's go check on the mushrooms and see how they're doing. Ah, uh, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? You can see they're starting to turn brown. Let's give that a good stir. My oven is preheating while I'm doing all of this. Um, you can see how much water is already evaporated out of here. I did have a little bit of olive oil in here also before I put my vegetables in. You need to use a little bit of oil when you cook with cast iron, otherwise everything sticks to the bottom of the pan. All right. So we're just gonna give that another minute or two and let that finish up. And sorry, just looking at my hallway here. There we go. Okay. All right. So let's add the eggs also. We wanna mix these in really well. This is all gonna get mixed in with the squash. My squash is also a little bit cooled off. If you put the eggs in when everything is still hot, your eggs are going to cook as soon as you add them. And that's gonna be, um, you're not gonna get the consistency that you wanted. So we're gonna mix the eggs in with the squash and then we're going to add the onions and the mushrooms to this. And then this is gonna go back in my cast iron skillet, which is nice and hot now. And then this will all go right in the oven. So super easy recipe to make. And like I said, you can make something on the side with this if you want, or you could just have it all by itself between the eggs and the mushrooms. Um, you know, it does feel like you ate a complete meal when you have this, but without all the fat and calories and, um, you know, since there's no cheese or anything in here. All right. Let me get my vegetables. is looking good. All right. And 
I'm just gonna put this right back on the stove because after I mix in these veggies, then my casserole is going right back in here. And we'll pop that right in the oven. When you do butternut squash, it's not the same consistency. You know, it's not like spaghetti, so it is a little bit easier to mix that. So, um, like I said, either squash is good with this recipe. All right, that's good. Maybe a little bit more on the bottom. Okay, so here's my squash. And let's come over, we'll dump this right back in the cast iron. Pop that in the oven. It does take about an hour. It should cook a little faster in the cast iron because it's already hot. I just took it off the stove. So, so cool. You'll hear the sizzle. Spread that out. This is the 12 inch skillet. If you're doing this in a baking pan, you want to do something that's, um, you know, about this size, a 9 by 13 or uh, if you use the 9 by 9 it's going to take a lot longer to cook. I'm not sure if it would even fit depending how big your squash is. And then just smooth it all out so it cooks evenly. About an hour at 400 degrees and dinner will be ready. So if you have any questions or if you want the recipe, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.